Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The Commercial Bank and the Banker's House is a unique complex that unites a single structure, the bank, with a fine residence, each representing a suburb expression of the Greek Revival style. The bank was chartered in 1833, although the complex wasn't constructed until 1838. For reasons of security, the design for the building called for the physical incorporation of a banker's residence. The facade of the bank, which faces Main Street, is marble. When completed, the interior contained two rooms for the bank's officers, a large banking room, and an alcove flanked by vaults. The alcove is framed by Greek Doric columns similar to the ones found on the entrance portico to the banker's house, which lies behind the bank but faces Canal Street. The home's interiors are particularly notable for the massive scale of the wood trim and the fine corner blocks that incorporate Greek motifs. The plan of the house is relatively simple, a central hall flanked by pairs of rooms connected by large double doors. The second floor has a similar arrangement, but is larger because some rooms extend over the bank's vaults. The banker's house is surrounded by cast iron fencing and brick walls, enclosing a garden filled with towering magnolias and flowering azaleas. The commercial bank in the banker's house complex was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1974. Hi, I'm Ann Stowers. My parents bought the banker's house in 1972 and lovingly restored it as our home. And this is your Natchez History Minute.